Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Mark Gonzalez. Gonzalez was shot and killed on Thursday, January 28, 2016, at the intersection of 7th and Flower Avenues in Venice, according to LA County Coroner Records. Aaron Villanueva was subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. At approximately 8 p.m. on January 28, 2016, a witness was outside of his Venice apartment on 7th Avenue between Sunset Boulevard and Flower Avenue when he saw his friend, victim Mark Gonzalez and Gonzalez's girlfriend. The couple was arguing. Upon reaching the intersection of 7th and Flower Avenues, the victim crossed the street while his girlfriend lagged behind him at the corner. The witness watched as an SUV stopped between the victim and his girlfriend. The SUV had two people in the front and one in the back. The rear passenger got out of the SUV and approached the victim. After announcing that he was from Culver City, the passenger used a handgun to fire multiple shots from a distance of approximately 10 feet. The shooter returned to the SUV and then drove away from the scene in an eastbound direction. Responding police officers found the victim unresponsive on the ground. Nine spent 40 caliber casings were near his body. The victim died as a result of a gunshot wound to the back of his head. He sustained a second gunshot wound to his heel. On March 8, 2016, Detective Herman Fredlor conducted a recorded interview with the witness and showed him a six-pack of photographs. The witness selected defendant's photograph, stating it looks like it's him, dark skin. The witness, however, was not sure that the person he selected was the shooter. The witness also repeatedly told Detective that he would not go to court because he feared for his family's safety. Both LAPD officer Julian Gonzalez and Detective Angel Gomez opined that defendant was a member of Culver City 13. When Officer Gonzalez arrested defendant and another member of Culver City in 2014, defendant admitted his membership in the gang and said he was known as Goofy. Additionally, defendant had tattoos that identified him as a member of Culver City. Having seen defendant on a number of occasions between 2014 and 2016, Officer Gonzalez noticed that he was often in the presence of Kenneth Godoy, another member of Culver City 13. Culver City 13 had about 260 members and operated in the territory that shared the Sentinella Avenue border with rival gang Venice 13. At the time of his death, victim Gonzalez was a member of Venice 13 and was known by the name Mono. He had a number of tattoos that reflected his gang affiliation. On February 12, 2016, defendant's friend and fellow gang member Kenneth Godoy was pursued and arrested after deputies observed him abandoned a bucket that contained a handgun. Godoy later called his wife, Monica Soto, from jail. During the recorded call, Soto told Godoy that she had been looking for him with defendant who was known to her as Astro. In August of 2016, after Godoy was arrested on another matter, Soto went to the police station and initiated a conversation with Detective Gomez in which she requested that Godoy be released in exchange for information about a murder. When the detective asked for more specifics, Soto said that it was a shooting that involved defendant and occurred in the Oakwood, Venice area. Using her cell phone, Soto played a 30-second recording of a conversation she had with defendant. Detective Gomez testified the voices on the recording sounded like Soto and defendant. He heard a portion in which Soto asked defendant how he knew the person was dead. Defendant replied that he went back to the crime scene, saw that it was taped off, and saw that the victim's girlfriend was crying. Upon being told that Godoy would not be released, Soto left without giving the detective a copy of the recording. In late March of 2017, Soto and her previous conversation with Detective Gomez came to the attention of investigating Detective Fretlor after Detective Gomez was transferred into his division. Soto was arrested on an outstanding warrant and in a recorded interview conducted by two detectives, said that defendant told her that he was responsible for the murder. Although Soto told detectives about defendant's admission, she repeatedly said that she would not testify because she feared for the safety of her family. On March 24, 2016, defendant was arrested at his home in Los Angeles. He was wearing a t-shirt, the back of which had a photograph of Tommy Luna, a Culver City gang member believed to have been killed by someone from Venice 13 prior to the charged homicide. Detectives searched defendant's home and found some Culver City 13 graffiti and clothing commonly worn by members of the gang. The home's garage contained a 45 caliber Glock handgun that could not have been used to commit the charged homicide. Although the garage did not contain any other guns, it did contain two fully loaded magazines of 40 caliber bullets, which was the same caliber used to kill the victim. Detectives also recovered defendant's cell phone during the search. Cell tower information supported an inference that defendant's phone traveled from his home toward the scene of the shooting on the evening of the murder. 
After his arrest, defendant was placed in a jail cell with a civilian undercover informant, a Hispanic male who was a former gang member. Before putting defendant in the cell, defendant was told he was under arrest for murder, that his homies were talking about him, that witnesses had identified him, and that the police had his phone records. Defendant was not told that a Venice 13 gang member was killed, where the murder occurred, or any details about the victim or shooting. Defendant was put in the cell and sat on the top bunk while the agent was on the bottom bunk. During the recorded conversation, defendant told the informant that he was a member of Coover City. Defendant said that there was a rivalry between his gang and Venice 13, with the two gangs frequently shooting at each other. He claimed that Coover City was winning because Tommy Luna was the only person from his gang who had been killed. Although defendant repeatedly told the undercover informant that he had not committed the charged murder, the denials were often accompanied by laughter. Moreover, defendant made a number of statements during the conversation that suggested that he was responsible for the homicide. On November 20th, 2019, a jury convicted defendant Aaron Villanueva of first-degree murder and found true the gun and gang allegations. On January 30th, 2020, the court sentenced defendant to a term of 50 years to life in state prison. Mark Gonzalez was 44 years old at the time of death. 